just he's like, like just camp it out around. no yep, there's a fish on me right there oh, yep 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 there he is that one came out of nowhere dude oh god luke he's digging bro first oh god oh god oh god oh god Oh god, it's a nice fish, dude. It's a nice fish. Oh, he's giving me so many head shakes at the hole. Oh, <gasps> chill, chill. It's a big fish. It's a big fish, bro. Oh my. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. Hey. Pizza time. Whoa, we got some, some za right here. Oh god, yeah, to start this vlog. But you forgot to get ranch, so five out of ten. Oh, I'm gonna go pizza. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another one. Uh, still on Red Lake, but as you can see, sadly, we are packing up. It's our last day here. Got the boys here. I got some pizza for morning breakfast. And when I mean morning, I mean it's probably like 10 a.m. I tried getting up. We tried getting up at like 6 a.m., but these guys wouldn't get up. I tried getting them up, and they would not get up. So oh, we went back to sleep. Oh, woke up at 10, and here we right are. Now I would love to sleep in. Oh, John. Oh, what's the temp out? 18 degrees? Jeez. You know what's gonna suck really bad? Getting up and packing the truck and going fishing, you guys. Think about it. Well, That's Luke, <laughs> Luke, Luke, it's so nice out. Should we just go? Come on. The Korean Jason Mitchell said that. Yeah, I know. And we but listened to mean, the Korean Jason But then Mitchell. me and you were like, but it's so nice out. We should go. And John's like, oh, this is gonna suck. And John's like, no, you guys, think about like how bad it is. Like, this is gonna be the worst thing ever. My friends suck. But anyways, we're here, Red Lake, our last day, saying goodbye to our little camper here for the night. And it was a good night. We slept, we drank some uh, Bud Light pickles, Bush Light pickles. It was a good time. But today, I wanna get back out there and do a little Red Lake walleye catch clean cook action for you guys. Yesterday, we caught about 15, but today we got a hot tip. We're going out of a different resort. Hopefully, we're gonna put this freaking smack down on the fish or else Dustin's gonna be all crabby and crabby Dustin is not fun to hang out with. That, that guy sucks. Again. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna finish eating our breakfast and then head on over to the lake. Hopefully the next clip you guys see me is well It's probably gonna be me Joan Hall setting up everything, but then catching some walleyes huh? No, do this one you gotta get the whip noise in there remember your famous one huh? Huh? Alrighty folks, we are all set up in the shack. It's me fishing with uh, Cornier Luke films wing broken Yes, sir. And uh, he already caught a fish as you can see. That's our first slot fish of the day It's probably like a 15 incher and we are jigging inside of here in my new shack again You guys have to help me name this shack. It's just a little smaller one than old Clemisha Luke has a dead stick rod with a bobber right to our right and then I have an ice I fish pro to my left So the plan of attack here today is to kind of camp this out See if we can whack some fish. It's a good sign that Luke already caught one. And just watch our bobber rod slash iFish pros and really take advantage of those. We have our maximum amount of lines out. And I'm feeling good about it today. I'm still using that 36 inch light Royal Flush. It's got a perfect tip for this and it's got the backbone I need to fight these walleyes. I had no problem using this yesterday. So I'm gonna keep using it. And then I'm just using the same jigging spoon and a minnow head. That's what we got going on today. We launched out of a different resort today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we catch a bunch more. Where's the iFish Pro? Out this window? Yeah, it's right out this window. Do you wanna open that one? So oh no, I can, I can see it right here. It's right here, my bad. about to rip them up hopefully hope so i feel like they just come in like little waves like that you yeah know? i feel like your buddy was right like just sit he's like, like, like just camp it out around. no there's a fish on me right there oh, yep 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 there he is that one came out of nowhere dude feels pretty good oh god luke he's digging bro is it this one's dick this one's dogging me dude first oh god oh god oh god oh god Oh god, it's a nice fish, dude. It's a nice fish. Oh, he's giving me so many head shakes at the hole. <gasps> chill, chill. It's a big fish. It's a big fish, bro. Oh my. Let's go. Dude, first fish of the day. Oh, he came out of nowhere. We were just talking about how we needed to just sit here and camp it out and hopefully th good things happen. Oh my god, that's a perfect fish. This is definitely over the slot. That thing was fighting so that's hard, nice bro. Fish, dude. Oh, that my came god. out of nowhere. That's a smoke dude. What too. the hell? Dude, that's two fish in like a couple minutes. Dude, nice. Let's go. Well, there she is, boys and girls. That is a nice fish. I'm going to measure this one 
and see how big she is real quick this is a 20 inch walleye guys and normally i don't keep fish this big but on red you get one over 17 i think i'm going to use this one as my 17 i mean that's a pretty good eater hell yeah boys that one came out of nowhere and just smoked it let me see your tinder profile pics no dude why Thanks. luke just let me see them Bro, it's a flex. dude just let me see them it's me flexed up oh god yeah a <laughs> classic truck picture so yep. i'm i'm country yeah oh you flexed up in sitka holding some birds yeah oh more sitka gummo by six nine God, looking such for a beast looking dude. for someone to get stuck in my dishwasher okay hit my man up on tinder for all you single ladies oh you're gonna expose me like that yes, you got dude. that on camera i'm exposing you like that bro all right that's fine it's I have, good for the vlog i have plenty of blackmail <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the Tinder's gonna get the, the fish in here. Alright, alright. So we're gonna start marking here in a second, just because right. we just talked about your Tinder game. Was your camera rolling on the last fish I caught when I was just chilling on my phone and then all of a sudden- Oh! No. No? Dang it! 12 seconds later. Alright, so I went to go check my iFish Pro and it hasn't gone off, but I think there might be a fish on there. This thing just didn't go off. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna- I'm just gonna see here. Make sure the drag is good here. There very well could be a fish on here. Yeah, what the heck? Why did this not go off? I have a fish, but like, what the heck? Gosh dang it. Yes, that's my under. That's my under. Let's go. Boy. Dude, my fish pro didn't go off though. There's been a fish on it? Yes, I'm oh, upset. Wait, I, maybe? Actually, dude, it probably just I, hit yeah, it, it might have just hit it when I went to go it check it because did. look. That was on your iFish yeah, pro, the hook was The hook is right freaking there. right here. What the Sam Hill? But there's my under for the day. God, I'm upset right now. I, Dude, I'm happy I caught a fish, but like, what the hell? If you would have waited like a couple more minutes. I know, I would have seen the flag up, whatever. I'm or, over. Or it's cause you started moving that minnow around. <sighs> whatever guys, I got a fish. I'm happy about it, but I'm not happy about it. That's my first technically ice fish pro walleye catch on that, but it wasn't. It didn't even count because the, the, I didn't even see the flag up. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I reset that iFish Pro and I found out what my problem was. It was me. I didn't have my slip knot uh, for the bobber stopper was not functioning correctly. So we fixed that. It's out there right now. And I'm thinking I'm going to get some fish on it now. I'm going to be really pumped to catch an iFish Pro fish officially like legit. And dude, that's uh, going to be a trophy. It is. It's, it might be a trophy out there. I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to sit here and keep jigging. I have two fish and Luke has two fish. Yep, two, Luke, Luke's, Luke's clapping though. He's caught like another two fish probably or so. Maybe just one other fish. But we both have the same amount of keepers. We both have our overs. It's turning out to be a pretty good day so far for getting out here late and uh, sleeping in. We're going to stick it out. We're well see. rested though. We are well rested. Yeah, we got for some pizza. For the big drive home in the dark. Yeah, rip. I don't want to drive. fall asleep. Three and a half hour drive home or three hour drive home. That's going to blow. But Oof. hopefully we go home with some walleyes. With like a bunch. Oh, fish coming to you. Fish coming to you. It's coming right up to you. He's gonna smoke you. Oh, Luke. Here, maybe he'll come to me. Maybe he'll come to me. Oh, he's gonna go back for you. That's a big mark, dude. No, he's gone. Dude, that was a Luke. Well, my, my flag, my flag, my flag, my flag's up. My flag's up. Oh god. Oh god, I heard my flag. Luke just missed one. Oh, am I good? Luke just missed the fish, boys. Now my iFish Pro popped up. Oh God, this might be my first ever. Oh yeah, she's peeling. She's peeling drag. So what you do is you take it out of here, you move this to this side. I'm gonna give him some line, check my drag. We're good. Reel up till I feel something. There we go. Uh, we're hooked up, boys. This feels like a, a better fish. I'm using a 38 medium true grit by Frostbite. Check the link in the bio. This feels like a decent fish. He's not. It's a. It's a wet rag. Definitely a walleye. That, that looks like a decent fish. Yeah, it is, dude. For sure. Well, that mark we just had was big. That yeah, was, it was. That was a nice mark that I just missed. Luke just missed. Oh wow. Yeah, that's. This that's might be a good one, dude. Meanwhile, that mark is back, and it ripped both of our poles in the water. That'd be ripping the chat. Dude, this is. Oh god. Bad. Not a bad one. No, that's not. There we go. That's a good looking walleye. Let's go. There we go. First fish on Red Lake for me using my fish pro, like officially catching one. Let's go. I'm gonna have to go see if this is an over and under. This is gonna be close That's as hell. Gonna be very close. It's probably gonna be like an 18 incher, so we're gonna have to throw him back. But as soon as you reset that yeah. slip knot though, let's go, oh God, dude. <laughs> All right, gonna get a measurement on this guy. Oh, I think he's gonna be an over though. 
Yep. All right, this is an 18 inch walleye, too big to keep. So he's gonna go back down to the resource and live another day. But hell yeah, dude, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun catching him on the iFish Pro. It's my first one officially. See you later, my guy. One eternity later. Oh yeah, boys, we're coming home with some meat. Oh my god, this mustache looking fire. I don't have the mic on right now, but that's where we're gonna end our fishing portion of today. It was freaking great. As for me, I only caught like three or four fish, kind of slower for me, uh, but I, I hooked in some really, really quality fish. And uh, I had a great time out here. We ended up catching our limit, and we're gonna go back home now and do a catch, clean, cook action here. Yes. I'm gonna do an upper Red Lake catch clean cook, not a lower Red Lake, that would be that'd be bad. Had a great time though, Red Lake was definitely an awesome place. Um, if you guys are looking to catch walleyes, I'd come here right now because the bite is getting hot. And I have even seen people catch way more than us. And uh, you know, for coming out here not knowing anything about Red and doing what we did this weekend or the last two days, I felt pretty good about ourselves. So, get your butt out here and I'll see you guys back at the crib. Tomorrow. Oh God, oh goodness, Ugh. Ugh. What's going on guys, it is the next day. Um, basically me and the boys, we got off the lake pretty late and we had a three hour drive home. So I didn't make food last night because I mean, obviously I was so tired I got home and went to sleep. But we're back at the Mindak apartment. We're gonna do the cooking part of this video right now. The rest of the walleyes are inside of the freezer right now, I'll show you. They're back there, in the way back there as you can see. Just a big old fat bag of wall heads. But this guy right here is actually gonna be my dinner tonight and then I'm also making some boneless ribs tonight on the old trig daddy and I mean, I got these seasoned up nice like. I got them smeared with some good sauce and some good seasonings and that's gonna be good, but I wanna show you guys how I like to cook my fish on the Trag Daddy. Alrighty, folks, so we got our lovely walleye today. We are going to use the Traeger Fin and Feather just because we're cooking it on the old Trag Daddy, so it only makes sense. We're gonna take a pinch of this stuff. We're gonna just get a good little dowsing of that on there. I mean, that already would be good just to throw on the grill like that. That looks so good. I mean, just, ooh, doggy. Mm -mm -mm. So, then we're gonna take a little bit of butter. As you guys can see, there's some butter. We're just gonna slice off some of this butter. We're gonna stick it on our fish, just like that. Set more, more graceful if you guys can, look at that. Now that we have the butter and the seasoning on there, we're gonna take a little bit of lemon juice. If I had a real lemon, I would use it, but I don't. This is gonna have to work today. We're gonna pop this son of a gun open we're gonna sprinkle some lemon all over this guy right here. This really gets the, the flavors out. Oh yeah, there we go. Then we take a sniff. Uh, then look at the camera and say, oh God. Then you take this guy right here. We're gonna do a little bit of wrappage. All right, we're gonna go like one of these guys, like this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Then one over, like that. And then we're gonna take this side like this. And tucking our kids in for the night, just like that, look at that. Got a nice little walleye tin foil dinner right here. And now that we have that, this stash man is just gonna wait until our grill is preheated at 350. We're gonna stick this guy on there and we're gonna let it sit in there for probably around, Oh, goodness gracious, I'm just gonna say like 10 to 12 minutes or so. And then we're gonna check it and uh, hopefully she'll be good to eat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the walleye is done. It's time to open up this goodness right here and uh, See how it tastes. I had a little, oh, look at that butter. Mm. Oh my. Look at that goodness. Holy dangling, rattling Neds. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Mindek? Don't put me in it. 
Well, this wall I turned out pretty good. I do say so myself. I'm gonna take a, a good help in here and we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, boys and girls, we got some fresh walleye right there. I mean, that just looks delicious. Here we go, Red Lake, cheers. Mmm. Oh, ha, ha, ha. damn. I mean, usually what I like to do is I like to fry this, but this is just so good, just like that. I'm gonna start making some fish like that. It's a little bit healthier. I know I put a lot of butter in there, but I would still say it's a little bit better, healthier wise, than frying it. So if you guys are looking for a different recipe and you have a Traeger or any type of grill, maybe try doing the little tinfoil method. You guys won't regret it. Well, I just absolutely destroyed that walleye. That was so freaking tasty, my goodness. Like I was saying, that was a little bit different than I normally cook it. Normally, I just kind of do it the unhealthy way, but I do still like it that way a lot. It's golden crispies, man. Don't get much better than that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed these last couple Red Lake videos. Um, I know I'm sprinkling in a couple hunting videos in between these, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see me go and chase these hot bites around the Midwest, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear where do you guys want to see me hit this winter? I already have a couple in mind, um, but I mean, there's still like, like the really famous ones, you know, like Cascade, Winnipeg, Leech, Mille Lacs, Lake of the Woods. Like there's so many places to go. And I wanna hear where you guys wanna see me fish this winter. Red Lake, I can check that off the list. This is my first time ever fishing there. And also, it's probably one of the better walleye fisheries in the world. So that is, wow, I can't talk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that because I had a lot of fun. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. We will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>